Hello, I'm Chuck Green with Alation Professional coming to you from my driveway in sunny Southern California and today we're going to take a look at the Fuse Spot. The Fuse Spot from Alation is a very versatile luminaire. It has a 305 watt RGB MA LED engine giving it over 10,000 lumens of output and a CRI of 92 which makes it perfect for the broadcast and theater world. The Fuse Spot features pan and tilt locks for safe transport. It only weighs 46 pounds, so you won't be breaking your back moving these guys. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I am shooting this in my driveway. There is a little ambient noise from uh, overhead jet aircraft. Um, and you know, there might be a barbecue or a potting bench in the shot, but I got a screen set up. I think we'll do pretty good. I've got my NX2 back here. Uh, let's take a look at the fuse spot. All right, well, let's take a look at this. Let me uh, turn off the house lights here. And yeah, by the way, if you don't control your uh, party string lights with Onyx, you're doing it wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring it up here. Let me, uh, try to do my best to focus this uh, iPad camera I have facing the screen. So, um, here it is, the uh, fuse spot in its native 6500 Kelvin. Again, it's 10,000 plus lumens and a beautiful uh, CRI of 92. I'm going to start by showing you guys the zoom. So I'm going to zoom it down here to 7 degrees and bring it out to 42. So it's a 6 to 1 zoom ratio. There we are. You guys again can see my uh, potting bench over there. Uh, don't mind the string lights in front of the screen. <laughs> there we go. The uh, fuse spot has an amazing CMY emulation. Uh, it's great, it works with color pickers on all consoles and it just gives you some beautiful color mixing. I mean, check out this Congo blue. And of course, here's magenta. light pink and of course you know the test of any good fixture the red you can hear the neighbor dog barking across the street I think he's really impressed <laughs> do some yellow and then back to its native open 6500 Kelvin uh, the fuse spot also has a CTO CTB uh, color so there you go that's uh, 2400 Kelvin it's really warm cool it off a little just bring it up and now we're getting into the blue end of the spectrum 7000 8500 and then we'll just just for reference drop it back to the native 6500 Kelvin um, it does have uh, color macros so you can snap it like a color wheel it's also worth mentioning that the fuse spot has a uh, virtual gel swatch, which is really cool. So if you need to match your fixture to conventionals that are gelled up, it's no problem at all. Uh, the fuse spot has two gobo wheels. Uh, each gobo wheel holds six uh, indexable, replaceable, rotating gobos. So I'll just kind of cruise through these for you. I really like this gobo. Here's the uh, classic shower door glass. And then we'll go to the second gobo wheel. Here's a nice uh, elaborate breakup. And I mean, you can really slow these gobos down just to a beautiful smooth crawl. And of course you can speed it up so here's a zoom just to give you an idea. It's kind of uh, overloading my iPad camera there, but if I zoom it out here, I think we can see better. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, the fuse spot, of course. Again, it's great for theaters, and for theaters, you're gonna need an animation wheel. And it's a full animation wheel. 
uh, here you can see it without a gobo and here is the few spots variable frost and let me zoom it in there zoom it out just a really nice soft edge of course you can use the frost with any color for some nice washes And for whatever reason, I tend to be a big fan of using gobos with a soft edge. Just a little texture. There we go. Um, the Fuse Spot also has a four facet prism. It is rotating and indexable as well. There you go with the gobo. And now to really freak my neighbors out, let's zoom it out. There you are. So that's just a couple of the features of the uh, fuse spot. Um, I'm gonna take it inside to the workbench and we'll go over it uh, so you can see the menu and a couple of the other cool features. Okay, so I went ahead and took the covers off the fuse spot. It's really easy, it's just some quarter turn Phillips screws. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a peek inside. You just see how clean and uh, organized everything is laid out. It's all modular, all on bulkheads. Um, so, so down here we have a really nice big cooling system for that uh, five color RGB MA uh, LED engine. And then of course you have the Gobo module. Um, and then on top of that, you have the animation wheel frost filters, there's your zoom. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to pull the gobo module out. It's pretty easy. Okay, before we go unscrewing the module to uh, replace the gobos, we have to disconnect just a couple wire harnesses on the other side. So I'm gonna unlock the tilt here. We're gonna go over onto this side. lock it back in place. So the two wiring harnesses we need to uh, remove are, let's see, we have this guy here on the uh, animation wheel uh, module. So we take those and then the main one coming off the gobo module. There we go, that's this guy here. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the unit over again, and then lock the pan, or I'm sorry, lock the tilt. So um, the first thing that's gotta come out actually is the animation wheel. Um, but in order to do that, we have to make sure that we move this lens assembly forward because it kind of, if, if not, you won't be able to remove the animation module. So do this first, couple of thumb screws. I mean, looking at the inside of this fixture, man, it sure looks easy to service and clean. There we go. There is the animation wheel. I'll just set that down over here for right now. And then, let's see, ooh, that's in there tight. Let me get the screwdriver here to kind of, there we go. Let me just loosen the other one as well. And then there you go. There is the Gobo module. Now this uses, like a lot of elation fixtures, the uh, slot lock system. So uh, it's kind of hard to do when I'm filming with one hand, but you basically have those spring little spring loaded uh, gobo holders that pop right out and you have a snap ring and you change your gobo out and you put the module right back in and they have these, uh, I don't know if we can see in there. Yeah, you see the little tracks in place. So it goes back exactly where it needs to easily every time.
Well, thanks for coming to my place and checking out the fuse spot with me. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll see you back here. Uh, we're going to do a couple more fixtures as well. Um, for more information uh, about the fuse spot or any other Alation product, please check out our website, www.alationlighting.com, and be sure to check us out on social media as well. Hey, thanks again for checking this out. I'm Chuck Green. We'll see you next time.